everyone! So I wasn't planning on filming a haul today, but as you know I went to the US recently so the Sephora VIB sale happened, the drugstore in the US happened, I'm just looking at my pile of stuff thinking what else happened, oh Space NK happened, MAC happened, and then my sister came home yesterday with a special present for me and it was this top which you can't even see because I'm just sitting so up in your face, let me just get up here, oh! Wow. I actually can't believe she had this made for me. She's officially the best person ever. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> so apart from the fact that I'm probably not going to take off this top ever because it just is so fitted for me. It doesn't actually, it's a bit big, but I mean <laughs> fitted is in like feeling spendy. This whole video was just all meant to happen, you know? I actually have a really exciting announcement about a London meetup, so make sure you guys stay tuned till the end if you want to find out because I'm so excited to be doing this London meetup. But without further ado, I'm going to start with everything I picked up at Sephora. The first one was this from Elizabeth and James. This is their Nirvana perfume. When I went to Dallas back in, I think it was around April time with Fleur and Estee, they both bought this and then I kept smelling it on them every time I saw them after that and then I got FOMO so I had to pick up the rollerball. I've never actually like owned a rollerball before. The perfume from a rollerball just hangs around on your skin so much longer because I guess you're like properly like meshing it well with your skin. Oh you guys know I love that word mesh. It's a really warm sweet scent. You guys know I like those kind of scents and it's a really great one for summertime but it's now winter but I still really like it. I picked up another one of the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I've been using this mascara so much recently. It's such a good one. I can't even get this out. Come out. Oh, here we go. It looks like this. It has a kind of really cool wooden packaging, but it just gives the best lashes ever. It holds a curl. It adds so much length and so much volume, but without a single clump. It is a really, really good one. So got another one of those. And then I also picked up something that I haven't used in a really, really long time. This is the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. I just totally forgot this product existed and now I feel so bad because it's so, so amazing. First of all, it smells incredible. It's perfect kind of thing you want to use in winter because it has a really kind of sweet but woody scent. You basically apply it on your skin in the shower. It's super nourishing. It's great if you're shaving as well, by the way, because it provides like a tiny bit of lather, but it also makes the razor glide quite nicely over your skin. And it just leaves the skin feeling so soft and supple and really moisturized as well. So it's a great like winter luxurious shower product. I also picked up this mini in the Isle of Doom. You know, when you're checking out of Sephora and there's just like all the really cute minis and they're not actually that much less expensive than the big versions, but sometimes minis are useful. So I got the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil. I love my Body Shop cleansing oil, but I just thought this is such a great one if you're going away for the weekend because it's just so cute and dinky and it has a little lock on the cap as well. So I'm obsessed with any YSL lip products. Every single product I've tried from them lip wise has been incredible. And I picked up another one of their Volupt Sheer Candies. They're kind of like sheer tinted balms, but that are really hydrating as well. This is in the shade 5. It's what I'm wearing right now as I put it on, but I was wearing it already and now it's probably like looking really awkward. I kind of gravitated towards this colour because it's a really nice autumnal colour and I think it goes along quite nicely with like a wing liner and smoky eye or you could just wear it by itself as well. This is a product that I've heard so many people, US and UK, talk about. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk. First of all, the packaging is really cool. You like pump it out and then it oozes out the top. It's very cool, doesn't mean you need to stick your finger in a pot. There is something about a product having the name goat milk that is like super unappealing. You just don't want to put something with the words goat milk on your face. So that was quite a brave move from Kate. I'm yet to try this, but apparently it's a great one for dehydrated skin and I'm sure I will put up a review soon on my blog. In the Sephora sale, I also wanted to try one of the Tucker fragrances. I know one of my friends, Alex, uses this quite a lot and I always smell it on her. It is Julietta and probably, I don't know, it's probably Italian and I'm saying that really wrong. 
I just love the cute little bottle. I think that's such a great mini. I know I use my Travelo quite a lot to kind of decant perfumes in, but it's just really nice to have a really pretty little bottle that has a bit more than a Travelo size in it. This fragrance is not my usual kind of fragrance. It's very, very, very floral. But then once it's on the skin, it goes much sweeter. But I've noticed these fragrances on me, they just last like 10 times longer than any of my other fragrances. Longer than Jo Malone and like about the same level as Diptyque, which I really like because sometimes, I hate when you spray something in the morning and then it comes to the evening and you're like, do I still smell nice? Do I not? I don't know. I also went to Space NK and I picked up four things. The first ones were the By Terry Ombre Black Star. I actually have around three of these already, but the formula of them and the like usability, I guess would be the word, is just like beyond any other eye crayon I own. First of all, they don't dry out because the lid clicks on properly. My one problem with ones like the one I have, I think it's Rimmel, is that it dries out really quickly because the lid isn't like a proper click shut lid. What is he barking at? They're super creamy that they just like glide over your eyelids. They basically blend themselves. I never really need to spend ages blending them. They're a really like slap on and go kind of eye product and I want wanted two shades that I could like really slap on and go so I picked up a nude which is in the shade 3 and then alongside that I have the shade 15 which is a silver but then kind of looks a bit brown in some lights as well it has a hint of taupe in it. I picked up a second of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this stuff all the time. I use the shade vanilla under my eyes and it brightens everything up. It looks like really flawless and oh, I just love it. I used this in my contouring video recently so if you want to see it in action I will link that below. Lastly I picked up a blush slash highlighter. This is from Laura Mercier. It is their shade Fresh Ginger. It doesn't actually look like much in the pan but on the cheeks it gives like a golden luminous uplifted glow but it's still really subtle because it's not too much of an in your face kind of colour. So from MAC I wanted to get like a really kind of out there bold pigment for the Christmas holiday season and I got the shade Old Gold. This is a really tiny little cute pigment and I just love the way pigments look on the eyelids. They're really bold, they're really kind of like in your face. But this is the kind of Christmassy colour I would wear. It's gold, it has a hint of green in it as well, a hint of brown. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial of me using this. Next, my friend Tijan actually bought me this. She has a YouTube channel as well, which I will link below. It's Tijan Serena. She was raving and raving about MAC Saw Lip Pencil. And I think I went to four different MACs trying to find it, but she kindly managed to get her hands on one for me. And it's such a beautiful, almost plummy nude. Even if it's like a your lips but better shade, I'm obsessed with lip liners because I just find they make my lips look so much plumper and fuller and more even as well. Lastly, we have the US drugstore and I was pretty restrained for me. Normally I go all out and buy everything in like a gazillion shades, but I managed to pick up one of these Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. Whenever I pass a Wet n Wild stand, they're always, always, always sold out so I was really happy to get my hands on this one. It is the Naked Truth eyeshadow palette. Ooh, risque. The formula of the Wet n Wild eyeshadows are incredible. They're like really buttery smooth, really pigmented, really creamy. You have five shades, two of which are matte and then you have three kind of shimmery shades in here as well and standard times for me it is a brown smoky eye quad. Well not quad, What's quad but five? I don't know. Was not paying attention in maths to know that answer. I couldn't resist a bit of the L'Oreal Paris stand and I got their Nude Magique BB Concealer for under the eyes. It's a rollerball consistency. It doesn't provide too much coverage. It's definitely one for like a no makeup makeup kind of day, but it's so easy to apply because of the rollerball and then you just kind of like blend the edges out with your fingers. Another product I love that I got a different shade of, this is the Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade Berry Amore. These are really similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes because they have a nice sheen in them. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now, by the way. So they have a nice sheen. You can kind of see they catch the light really nicely, give a really nice glow, but then add a hint of colour as well. I could not pass the Physician's Formula Stand without picking something up. Not only is the packaging like so cute, I just, oh, it's something spalling. Oh, it's the brush. This is their Nude Wear Pink Blush. I'm really excited to try this. It has four shades and then it has like a kind of silver embossing over the Nude Wear and then it has really gorgeous like pink leather packaging. I was looking at all the Maybelline lipsticks and I saw this color and I was like, yes. 
that is so me this is going to happen this is the Maybelline color sensational matte lipsticks and it is in the shade ravishing rose and I'm really liking that kind of like bitten but rosy pink lip look at the moment and then lastly from the drugstore I picked up a L'Oreal true match powder I love the foundation I love the concealer and I saw the powder and I was like okay that needs to come home with me I got the shade N3 which is the matching shade to my foundation shade and it is the right shade for me how many times can I say shade in one sentence so far no surprises I'm in love with this powder it kind of like mattifies just takes down that like slight layer of grease that foundations can sometimes leave but doesn't leave you looking too flat which is like my perfect perfect thing that I look for in a powder. On to the super exciting part of the video. I'm so excited to tell you guys that I'm going to be having a London meetup with Space NK. It is going to be on the 10th of December from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. That is a Wednesday. It is first come first serve and you do have to RSVP. It's just events at spacenk.com and just let them know that you're coming to the event. The first 20 people to arrive, I have been told, will get a Space NK gift card to spend on the night which is very exciting. There's going to be other things going on as well like champagne and gifted purchases but mainly I am so excited to meet you guys. I haven't done a London meetup before and I am just counting down the days till the 10th of December. All the information that I've mentioned right now will be in the information box below and on my blog as well if you want to go and check that out. Make sure to RSVP and tweet me please 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 if you're coming because I'd love to hear from you and chat to you guys before for the event. I'm going to end the video here because I'm just getting too overexcited telling you guys about this meetup. I really hope I didn't have lipstick on my teeth throughout this video and <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye! Hello everyone! I hope you guys are well. It is currently Monday evening. It's 6 p.m. and pitch. I'm looking outside right now and it is like pitch, pitch, pitch black which means it's like officially winter i don't really know why that had anything oh no that does have something to do with what i'm about to tell you in a second but today nothing